Hey there guys, how we doing? I'm Yalik. Uh, gonna try to keep this to like 15 minutes, but uh, I've been messing around with my warriors because I was given a challenge yesterday. If you guys know me, you all know that the thing I really like best is smashing shield bases with my warriors. Uh, a new student messaged me yesterday. He asked me if I would make a spot in this task force and I had a feeling I knew what was going on. So I pulled an account out uh, waited until today when I was boosting to attack it. Uh, he, this is his push account, which he's keeping in another task force. Now, I'll have you notice that this is the layout he's actually running right now. It's the bomber, bombardier meta with the one shield generator. Uh, six ice here, four health, two damage, which will be the same in what you're about to see. However, he went out of his way to be so kind as to make a special layout just for me. And we'll get back to that in a second, but check this out. This is just dastardly. This is awful for warriors. <laughs> um, everything about this is bad. Uh, we're, I might do a couple attacks on it. We'll show a couple of attacks. I've obviously had a lot of fails on this because it's designed to be ridiculous for warriors, and it is. But I have managed to beat it twice uh, by the skin of my teeth both times. I'll show you those. Uh, I don't think I had a single warrior remaining on, on either of those wins. So I'll try a couple of hits on this and explain why this is so bad and then you'll probably get to laugh at my expense a couple times. And then I'll show you why I hope to use this layout to illustrate a point quickly. Um, something that I have been saying over and over again, and uh, Supercell just doesn't care to listen. Anyway, so everything about this is awful. Like I said, four building health. So the shield, uh, actually, I think from a comment he made, this was supposed to have seven ice at the time, but he'd already boosted this guardian, so he didn't want to rip it up and waste the power powder. But, so this was supposed to have seven ice and probably another building health, which I think would have made this impossible. So, the fact that this is possible at all, probably due to that slip up on his part. But, you know, so we've got the two shields, obviously. Uh, his mines are particularly bad here for me because he knows I have to go for one of the shield generators. This is not a mine setup that you will see uh, against any other style of play except for warriors. Uh, you can see that he's got a lot of continuous damage. So the machine gun and the flamethrowers, uh, they don't ever stop shooting. They just keep shooting all the time. That's the continuous damage, which is bad for warriors. Ring of death all around the headquarters with that stuff. He has his uh, shock launchers. Uh, both moved away from the headquarters. Again, you never see them in this position. And the reason they're never so far from the headquarters is this, is that... Uh, Zookas, in the past, they've always been much closer to the headquarters because Zookas can stand over here safely if you clear this side of the base. Now, Zookas can stand over here very safely without having to worry about the other shock launcher and just work on the shield. Rather than having to take out both generators, you just clear a bit. So that's why these, these are usually in close to the headquarters. In this case, it's bad for me because if the shield generator, shield generator, excuse me, shock launcher is three or four tiles closer to the headquarters, uh, its bullet is gonna end up standing in its blind spot. And that's usually something I try to arrange for a reason because then that takes uh, a shock launcher out of play. Here, both shock launchers are in play. And as if all that was not enough, mines, continuous damage, bad shock launcher placement, now this might have been a little bit of overkill on the beach laser, but <laughs> anyway, so let's, I, what the hell, I'll, I'll try attacking a couple times and then we'll show the wins. I don't, I'm not going to go through all the losses, but you can see all the losses here because this is just abysmal. It is not even fun to try to attack something like this <laughs> because it's not, it's not designed for this. Um, guaranteed, more than likely, you're, it's, it's going to be bad. Those are the odds. You see the odds. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of this hit depends on what happens right here. That's not a very good start. Uh, you need GBE, and I'm not going to have it. That is not enough, and the shield generator is not even down. No, the 96 would probably be okay, but the shield generator is not down. 85 is not enough. 
Uh, so quite a few of those attacks are just that, depending on your barrage. If you get, because barrage is random, if you get lucky with the random factor in your barrage, I've had as much as like 105 GB to do the actual attack. That's nice. Uh, on the other hand, once it gets down into the 80s, I really don't have the GBE that I need to do other things here. So, if there had been, like I said, if there had been that one more ice statue, not a great start. Uh, yeah. The combination, what makes this so bad, is the combination of all the mines, which either you have to clear them or you have to tank them, and if you tank them, then in my case, like, I, I gotta get a med kit in there somewhere, it never fails, I don't care, go away. Um, never fails. Nobody's called me in three hours. I said to make a video. Uh, hmm, where were we? So the combination of the mines and then the need for the shocks, and obviously having to bart this down. There are a couple other methods with warriors uh, of approaching a two shield base. One involves not clearing many mines and just going and taking out the shields manually. But in order to do that, uh, I can't, I don't have the GBE to deal with the mines as well because the smokes are really expensive. Three at least, and then we pray. Doesn't look like it. I'll show you what happens with, with this amount of GPE. Uh, so, oh really? Wow, now this is just an incredible, I've not had this occur so far, like a streak of luck, that's what, three or four in a row. Um, so can't go get both shields with the warriors manually, don't have the GBE for that. Now, another thing that you can do is not bother with barting uh, the shield generators. Uh, bart out something you know, try to bar out something to try to limit your shocks, and then just attack one shield generator. And if you only have one or maybe two shocks to deal with, uh, you could be okay just trying to chew through half this shield. But in this case, there are just too many things to shock. You can definitely get away with one round of shocks and then a repeat on something. Usually it's the shock launcher opposite you. Um, but that's not an option either here because of the trademark ring of death around this headquarters. There's just too much to shock, so I don't have the time that it's going to take to eat through a shield of this magnitude. Um, so there's just a lot of different things wrong with this, but that's the whole point. Anyway, we'll try one or two more of these, and if they're not agreeable, then I don't even know. Uh, we'll have to move along. Probably not. Still no. I'm, I'm telling you, this has not happened a single time yet. It's really weird. One more. And then we'll just go to the winds, which, as I said, even though they're winds, they are fugly winds. Because then I want to move on to the point that I'm going to make at the end of this video. So I need three or four minutes for each of those, probably. Four. Had to come up with a completely new style of landing because of this beach laser. Something I've never done before, but... Really? Uh, all right, well, not enough GBE, like I said. I need that, that, that GBE right there, that amount of GBE that I just had to use extra. That's the, sh the probably the med kit that I need to get in here somewhere, and I'm not going to be able to. Uh, so, weird new landing because of this beach laser, so to keep it off the warriors. This is not something you're normally going to see. Let him get nice and high on the beach, and then I'm flaring right up under the vampire trophy there. And going about like a six or seven count. That. And then... Really hoping he'd get a couple more mines for me there. Not great. And we're, we're eating up boom mines all along the way. I'm trying to avoid a shock mine in here. I really could use that med kit. I don't have it. I don't believe. I'm gonna try to stretch the smokes on this about as much as possible. Yeah, now I still have four mines to hit at the headquarters. 
so that's why the med kit really matters here and now I'm down to two shocks so we can go like this and we can go like that I suppose get the two shock launchers and then might have been able to use the med kit a little sooner over there uh, might have even had it that time if if with just a little bit more GBE for that one shock a uh, bit of a stretch but did most of these look something like that a couple of them really disappointed I got it you know at the headquarters down to like mm, slivers of health and still died that's unfortunate <laughs> But, I mean, this is how it goes. This is straight up evil. <laughs> Thank new student for that. Not going to have the GBE once again. Um, let's go look at the two wins that actually happened. Because we are at, yeah. So, the first one, which happened to be the, fir the very first time out. It's going to be, for the most part, similar. Except, the one thing that was interesting on this attack was I came up short on the smokes i overlapped a little bit too much i've really been trying to stretch the smokes out because i can't afford extra <laughs> so i came up a little short on this one and ended up doing a sort of a weird approach on the hq but it was the only option left to me at the time and it ended up working who knew don't remember what the gbe was on this one whether it was uh like 90 95 99 whatever it was so <laughs> That landing, I've just straight off, I've been using that throughout here. I made a mistake, let Bullet get out of laser range, so then it actually fired on the Warriors. But it looks like he is going to get the mines for me. I see overlapped a little bit on the smokes there, which is you know, going to cause a peak over here. Doesn't end up being too big of a problem. Still. I think we want the med kit here because I'm not using a taunt. He's also arranged this area of the base so that a taunt doesn't do any good. There's an overlap on that smoke. Now I've got a long way to go and I only want to use two smokes to cover that distance. <laughs> so, going up to the sniper tower to avoid the shock mine. So what I just ended up doing is leaving the backside of the HQ uncovered and shocking a little early. In this case, I was lucky enough to have the GBE for three shocks and leaving one machine gun. Untaunted. Uh, four? Nope, three. Three warriors alive. And Bullet. But Bullet's health doesn't really matter there. I mean, Bullet, it, once the warriors are dead, Bullet just ends up getting shock locked at that point by the, the two shock launchers. So it really needed to go down with the warriors. This one, this one, I'm pretty sure there were no warriors alive. <laughs> Zip through that. And again, do not remember in this specific instance what the GBE situation was. Let Bullet get a little higher on this one, you note, know, trying to keep him in the laser range. So it just stays on him, more or less. He does get the mines there, for the most part. That's helpful. Because, again, here, uh, there's a machine gun. But Taunt, I don't think, is going to affect it. So I've not been bothering to use it. We've got the med kit again, and that's to help with the machine gun and the rocket launchers and things that are staring us down while we're killing the shield generator. That's what I mean about stretching out the smokes. No overlap. Got to peek a little bit here. Actually had, because stretched enough, <laughs> uh, had enough smoke to, to cover the back of the HQ. That's great. Here, this was a, it must have been an instance I had enough for the three shocks. So probably came out a little luckier over here on the barrage. Like I said, the random factor, two taunts. And check out this finisher. The last warrior died as the HQ was start, exploded and the buildings were starting to blow up. So after the attack was over, the last warrior died and there's just bullet there. Uh, so that's, um, did I say that was the skin of my teeth? 
kind of the skin of my teeth. So here's the problem with that base layout. And I've been saying this, so like we said, new student, as soon as he left here, went back to uh, a sensible base layout, which is at this point in the game, one that can try to stop bombers. So one shield generator, two laser beams. Lasers are great against bombardiers because they will fire through bullet or heavies or whatever else you have out there. Uh, trying to absorb the damage and then the the laser beam will continue back into the bombardiers and kill them so that's the kind of layout that all of the leaderboard players have at this point the two shield generator years are just long gone but what we the reason that you don't see layouts like the one that new student designed specially for me like i said that's not a real layout it's um kind of a gimmicky layout why am i going there that's not gonna help at all it's kind of a gimmicky layout specifically for warriors and here's why it does not it's not going to work <laughs> let's see i want you i didn't should have checked the health on that before i started but yeah do that too So this is designed to counter long distance damage, like I said. It is not designed to counter, or sorry, this, this base is designed to counter uh, melee damage, warrior damage. Uh, it's not going to be good against long range. So we're just going to clear a little pocket and once we've done that, we should be able to sit there with the bombardiers and eat through the shield. Now one thing we're going to want to do to that end let me cover that guy up for right now. And bullet this is nearly dead. I'm gonna get back to here, and then we can do probably get that uh, boom cannon back there. I probably should go get that guy. I would guess not really actually going to matter because these guys are so powerful that they're ripping through the shield generator that fast. So I'm sitting here musing like, hmm, should I go take a detour and, and get that guy out of the way? The base is already dead. And that's what I mean about so this style of base that new student designed for me with my melee warrior damage is nasty devastating but it's very very easy for things with range and the opposite is true of this style of base which is designed to combat range but it's very very easy for melee damage uh, so on the one hand you've got bases that are way too easy for tanks and on the other hand you've got bases that are way too easy on tanks and bombers I guess but on the other hand and that was not even a very good tank attack because I'm not very good with tanks, to be honest. That's also part of the point, which is that somebody who's good at doing that would probably make that look even more convincing. Um, it, these bases are just kind of like broken one way or another. This is broken against warriors. Uh, I can do this with a masterpiece boost. The other base that, you know, I've been... Yeah, that doesn't range that doesn't range so yeah this is a masterpiece boost go back get the shield generator a couple mines to pop and then one shock machine gun and shock launcher in front of the hq because at that point i'll be in back of the hq this is broken against warriors if you can beat a base like this with just a masterpiece boost and this is broken against tanks bombers uh probably zookas and all ranged attacks and that's kind of the state of the game right now. So anyway, the community manager keeps insisting that uh, 
the game balance is fine and nothing needs to be adjusted. Apparently we're going to see about that tomorrow. It's quite possible that we've got an update supposedly coming. Don't really know what it involved. We've had a couple of teasers, but there has been su a suggestion anyways that, that some things might be rebalanced. I suppose we'll see come tomorrow. In the meantime, um, this is nasty. And thank new student for probably about 45 minutes of entertainment there. And it's really not probably going to get a whole lot better than this because of the nature of that base. So I'm going to go do other things now with my real life. But um, And no, the game is not balanced. The game is badly broken. That's just the truth of the matter. Anyway, I'm Alec. Like, thumbs up, chatter, comment, whatever you want to do. And I'll catch you guys around. Take care.